with principal shooting wrapped on Ron Howard's first Star Wars film, Solo A Star Wars Story. The film now dives into post-production, all set for the film's proposed release on May 25, 2018. It's a tight deadline, but as the principal cast move on to other ventures and ILM continue their work on the film under the watchful eye of Ron Howard and Lucasfilm, the next seven months will be a whirlwind of activity. What kind of droids will we be seeing in the new Star Wars Han Solo film ousted directors Lord and Miller may have had the vast majority of their work shot under the stewardship of Howard, but ILM and the other VFX companies hired to work on the film will be deep into their work. Despite Ron Howard failing to mention the May release date in his video message announcing the film's title, don't assume that means a date shift. All eyes now turn back to The Last Jedi, the 8th Saga episode out in December, but these days fans have got used to thinking about multiple projects. This is a far cry from the first two trilogies, when a three-year span lay between movie releases. That's not to mention the 16 years between Return of the Jedi in 1983 and The Phantom Menace in 1999. Han Solo is a character beloved by most Star Wars fans and interest in seeing new solo actor Alden Ehrenreich's performance in the film will skyrocket. With Emmy Award winner Donald Glover at his side in the role of Lando Calrissian, first seen back in 1980 in The Empire Strikes Back, the film is set to be a rollicking ride through the galaxy as we watch Solo make his name. We know he has his loyal sidekick and co-pilot Chewbacca at his side, played by Yonasu Otomo who has already played the Wookiee in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Emilia Clarke, better known as Daenerys Stormborn of Game of Thrones, plays a character linked to Han. The character's name is Kira, the original name of Rey in pre-production on The Force Awakens. Could that link Clarke's character with Daisy Ridley's heroic focal character in the saga episodes? We also have Woody Harrelson in a mentor role, essential given Han's young age in this episode. In the old canon, Solo had only been smuggling for about six years before the events of A New Hope, the original film back on 1977, yet rumors have the Solo movie set a decade before the original film, making Han only 20 years old. That would be, if they adhere to any of the 30-plus years of Solo backstory, before he entered the military, so we could well be looking at some major changes to his backstory. That's also well before Solo won the Millennium Falcon from Lando in a game of Saba CC, a card game in the Star Wars galaxy. There's every chance that this first entry in the Solo series will bring Han and Chewie together and drop the Falcon into his lap. Whether or not it includes the fallout between Han and Lando that informed so much of their relationship in The Empire Strikes Back remains to be seen. One thing that will most likely be explained is Solo's aversion to droids. He had little time for R2-D2 or C-3PO in the original trilogy, and the 19,791,980 series of Han Solo novels by the late Brian Daly showed he had little time for droids years earlier. There's a huge question will we see any of Han's dealings with Jabba the Hutt The 1977 original saw him on the run from Jabba, after dumping a shipment of spice when faced with an imperial blockade. That dropped him in hot water, with Jabba sending bounty hunters out to bring him back to Tatooine, something that didnt happened until the end of The Empire Strikes Back when Boba Fett captured Solo and delivered him in time for Return of the Jedi. Until then, Han was a highly thought of smuggler in the Hutt's employ. Could we see his glory days in Jabba's organization and will that take us back to Tatooine, a world we've not seen on screen since 2008 and the animated Clone Wars movie more The Last Jedi trailer hints the next Star Wars film will go to the dark side more The Last Jedi would Kylo Ren kill his mother General Leia Organa more Star Wars has Luke become a weird old hermit, like Ben and Yoda before him.